All right, so let's say we've got a circular loop that has a current going through it. So we'll look at both instances here, counterclockwise and clockwise. So in this case, with the going clockwise, so I want to know where's the magnetic field point at the center of the loop. So I'm going to do this the long way once here. So if I look at just the current on this far right, which way does the current point at that exact position in the wire? Up. And so in this case, if I point my thumb up, then the magnetic field it creates would point where at the center? Towards you, out of the board. Awesome. Now if I do the same thing at the top of the loop, the current points to the left, and where would the magnetic field point at the center of the loop? Out of the page. What about here? So current points down and out of the page, out of the page. And so you find the current's definitely gonna have to point out of the page here in this case. So they came up with a right hand rule for this. That sometimes it's taught, sometimes it's not. And this one is not my favorite, but with a circular loop, if you take and put your fingers in the direction of the current in a, in a loop, then out your thumb will point the magnetic field. Why don't I like this one as much? It's the opposite way we've defined the thumb and fingers in the past. So it's a special case for the circular loop. So in this case, if you actually went with the circular loop, your thumb at the center would point out. If we do it the other way, your thumb would point in. So for clockwise, if we do the same exact thing we did at every single point around the circle, we'd find out that at the center, everywhere it points in. Now notice we've only talked about the magnetic field at the center around the outside of the circle, we've ignored it completely, and it's usually not something we talk about, but it'd just be the opposite direction. Okay, so it turns out Just the magnetic field in the middle? Yep, we're only looking at the very center of the circle. What's the magnetic field? So in this case, it turns out you can have more than one turn in your loop again, just like we did before with the torque. So mu naught, your current, is totally proportional there, and then the radius of your loop inversely proportional. Cool, so it makes sense. The greater the current, the greater the magnetic field. But then also the bigger your loop, then the farther these wires are from the center, and so it should be a smaller magnetic field at that center. Cool.